really well. Um, today, I wasn't ready to be showing you my new bike. That's going to be another video. Um, but I am on the new bike and what I wanted to do is show you um, my cockpit bar type setup on my gravel bike because I keep getting questions about this. Specifically, what mount I use, how I get the GoPro on there and I get loads of questions about the bar bag that I use. So I figured what I'd do just quickly today is show you the cool mount I've got, show you all those bits and bobs and then if you've got any further questions about that then leave them in the comments. <coughs> So first up, the bar mount. Now this is a really, really cool bit of kit. This is from F3 Cycling. They also make the out front mount that I use on my road bike, which is really nice. It makes it much easier to declutter your bars, um, which is nice, particularly if you've got narrow bars and you're trying to get a load of stuff on there. So this one I like because sometimes I have a problem fitting my light bracket and my GoPro and all the other stuff. So the fact that it can flip up and down and it can spin if you loosen it off means that I can easily attach this and get it exactly where I want. It only weighs nine grams and it's super easy to put on. You just undo the bolt on your stem cap, remove that, you'll have to remove a spacer and then you stick it under there and screw it all back together. And then you can adjust the angle and tighten that so that it doesn't move. The other reason why I like this one so much is because if I've got a bar bag, which I often have on my gravel bike, I don't want an out front mount because it gets in the way of the bag and I can't open it. So this is ideal to go with this bag that everyone asks me about constantly. It's made by Outer Shell and I mean it costs a lot of money, um, like... 80, 80 pounds or something like that I think but what's really nice about it is that it opens towards you so when you're riding along if you're in a race or if you don't want to take your hands off the bars for too long or you just you know you just want it to be nice and easy you don't need to bother zipping it up and stuff you just grab the elastic and pull it over your stem and it stays really secure and believe me nothing has ever fallen out of it when I've done it like this I just put it on and then you can get a proper look it attaches using these two little straps I can you tell I like stuff that's very simple and easy to use and well designed, like the stem mount. Put this around here and I would recommend putting a bit of um, Invisiframe or Gorilla Tape on your head tube because otherwise it can rub a little bit. And then yeah, that's it. You just pull it over like that. So look, I can still see my Garmin. It's not sort of poking out the front, getting in the way of the bag. And it's just a really nice clean setup, which is why I like it. You can buy this extra camera insert for the outer shell bag and you put that in there and that protects your camera from bumping around when you're going over rough terrain. I don't tend to use this very much. In fact, it's quite disgusting in here from all the snacks and stuff that I've been ferrying around. Oh, look, 25 quid? So the next bit of kit that you often see on my bars that you're always asking me about is this um, GoPro mount so that I can film kind of, well not exactly POV because I wouldn't have my head on the bars, but I can film um, the terrain that I'm riding along without taking my hands off the bars. So this one just goes onto the bars like that, since you're in. Using this little clip, you can adjust the orientation of this so that you can have the GoPro facing, well, any direction. But why you would want it to face anywhere except forwards, I don't know. So that is how I film a lot of my um, gravel stuff. Also, using a chest mount. There's a marble rolling around. Shush! If I'm doing an endurance distance type event or racing or riding at night, the final thing to go on is one of these exposure lights. So you can see why I wanted to start off with the F3 on the stem mount, because otherwise, where on earth would I put all this stuff? This six pack can run for 36 hours without charging. It's got various different um, levels of output, so you can program it to be as bright as you want, pres preserving the battery life or just making sure you don't blind other road users. And it's got an LED screen at the back that tells you exactly how much light you've got left, which is really reassuring when you're in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night on your own uh, the thought of just not being able to see where you go is pretty terrible the strata is more road oriented so it's a bit lighter it's a bit cheaper and the reason it has slightly lower lumens is because as i said you don't want to blind road users um, this one i would use off-road to really well light up rugged off-road trail so i can see everything and you know try not to crash i guess whereas this one you're going to be riding on a road so 
it's not as important. I mean, it's still important that you can see where you're going right, but anyway, I'll put this on. So there you have it, the full kind of adventure race cockpit setup. Obviously, if I was doing a big sort of endurance type race, I would probably have more than just this small bar bag. But this is my go-to setup for most things, you know, with or without the light if it's daytime, with or without the GoPro if I'm not um, recording, but always with the on the stem mount and pretty much always with this bar bag as well. So hope you found that interesting. Do let me know if you've got any comments about setting up your bike for this kind of thing. Um, if you've got any questions about the mounts, about the products that I'm using here, let me know. And I uh, hope you guys are doing really well. Thanks for watching and oh, give me a sub and I'll see you next week. Bye.